Hello mga ka-crown and welcome back to our YouTube channel, The Crown Philippines. This is Christian. At tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang ating coverage for this pageant season. Just like today, we have a very special guest. And we're going to sit down with one of the most talked about candidates of Miss Universe Philippines 2024. But of course, before anything else, we'd like to give a big shout out to our almost half a million followers on Facebook. We're on a road to 100,000 followers on Instagram. And help us reach another milestone po sa YouTube. 500,000 subscribers, mga ka-crown. Kaya sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, just click on the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be updated with our recent news, reviews, and pageant coverage. You can be part of our growing crown nation. And of course, for more 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 updates, you can visit our official website. It's www.thecrown.com. Ito na nga mga ka-crown, di ba? Her signing up to Miss Universe Philippines this year and her sashing ceremony actually sealed the deal na indeed itong edition ng Miss Universe Philippines is an all-star edition. Without further ado, mga ka-crown, Miss Universe Philippines, the gig, Christy Lynn McCary. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi everyone! Welcome back to the ground, Philippines. I don't know if you remember, but uh, we did some uh, ambush interviews with you before about when you were attending a uh, final side of the coronation night. So, yeah. so welcome back to the ground, Philippines. And it's Thank good you for having me back. Um, I know it's uh, you have a very hectic schedule right now, but how are things going uh, in the competition? Well, the competition just started, so. Um, I haven't really started to feel how intense it's going to get. Of course, we had the official press gone, so that was super exciting. Um, everyone was able to see all the girls, all of the bloggers, and the fans were able to come out. So you get that initial rush of, you know, that that pre pageant excitement and jitters. Um, but I'm excited to see what the rest of the competition will bring. So, sabi ko kanina, you're one of the most talked about candidates. And we just want to know what's going through your mind. You know, what's the feeling of competing again after about a decade or nine years since you last competed? It's almost been a decade. So, um, it's been a while, let's just say. And it's also something I never thought I would revisit again. But given the age restriction has been lifted, um, there was a lot of rumors circulating that maybe I could or should join. I had a lot of advice and support from my friends and family, trying to encourage and convince me that I, I should join as well. So um, I would have been lying to myself if I didn't take the opportunity because I'm also someone who likes to promote people taking risks, people chasing their dreams. So yeah, <laughs> like, why, why would I not follow my own uh, what, or why wouldn't I practice what I preach? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting to be back. Um, and I'm just exhilarated to be part of such a dynamic, powerful, and iconic batch this year. But do you notice any kind of um, difference in competing today than 10 years back? Shepard Meron, a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of differences because back then, Pinipini Pilipinas was a different dynamic. Uh -huh. Um, there were multiple crowns at play, and there was also not a very large factor of social media uh, playing a part of your success or your progression in the competition. This time around, social media platforms play a massive role, I feel, in reconnecting or connecting to your fan bases, increasing your fan bases, spreading your advocacies. So it's a different advantage when it comes to it, but it's a different minefield to navigate as well. So I think that would be one of the main factors and differences between then and now. It adds to the parang, ano, ano, um, level of pressure yung social media because Super. every day, ang bilis ng information. Kumakalat all of your activities, pa, even before it got gets free. Super bilis. Nasa social media na again. Okay, so um, we're also curious to know if there's anything that... Parang, going through your mind na parang in res retrospect, is there anything that you are thinking that you could have done before that you are planning to apply this time in the competition? Compared to my last time competing yeah. it would definitely be my inner focus and my self-confidence and self-awareness. I think before um, I was competing, I was 24 or 25, 
I was still coming of age as a woman. I think everyone ages or matures at different paces at different times, or they gain different life experiences at different points of their lives. And I think at that moment in time, I was still in search of empowering myself or discovering how to do that. Um, and there was a lack of focus. There was distraction from outside opinions. And this time around, I feel a lot more unbothered, let's just say. Uh, I'm a lot more focused on myself, on my goal, my mission, my journey. And I just want to make not only myself proud, but the entire Philippines proud. And that's my driving force. And outside opinions don't affect me at, at all anymore. So. Parang relax na relax si Christy, di ba? Fresh na fresh, no? Now, of course, um, you were one of the girls that got got endorsed by Pia Words back in an interview. And uh, we just want to know, was that the trigger or the parang, was that the final cue for you to say, na, okay, I'm signing up this year for Miss Universe Philippines? Well, it wasn't among the final cue, but I can't say that it definitely wasn't uh, a large boost of confidence and encouragement coming from Pia. Because ultimately, she's the ultimate for me yeah. in my eyes. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit biased as well because she's my friend and we're batch sisters. She's someone, like I mentioned earlier, I look up to, I idolize, um, but she's someone I, was, I also confide in. So I'm grateful for her support on all angles of that front. Um, but Shepard Nama, if she believes in me, then obviously there's got to be something that I should, I should believe in myself in doing as well. So aside from her support, I've had support from, of course, my family, um, a lot of my friends in the industry uh, that were really encouraging. So it, just, it was that extra boost of confidence that I guess I needed to to tip me over the edge to say, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to do it. Mm. But the other side of the coin, are there were there any reservations for your hand or any doubts that, parang, while you were still deciding to sign up for Miss Universe? Absolutely. There's always going to be doubts, I think, when you enter a competition that's this strenuous, that's this um, demanding. demanding. Um, putting yourself, like Michelle mentioned during our press con speech, under the scrutiny of hundreds of thousands of people. Opinions will come flying left and right. And not all, but maybe most that sometimes could be negative, depending on how you enter. But it's always going to be about how you react to the situations that I think is important. So the doubts were there. One, knowing, you know, I already understand that the people are judging that I'm too old, that maybe I'm past my prime. Um, but I absolutely refuse to believe that. And I really want to inspire women or people in general that there is absolutely no expiration date for anyone's existence or success. So that's my vindication in letting people know that they can do the same. That's the key word. Ang ganda, no? no expiration dates, especially to, in terms of achieving your dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, earlier, Christy, you mentioned about uh, you're more matured, you're self-assured right now. Um, and of course, people are talking more about you because uh, this is not your first rodeo in pageants and you've proven yourself to be a, a really a good represent excellent representative of the country and the international stage um, do you think maturity and experience give you a better chances a better chance of winning i actually do believe it is quite an advantage mm -hmm. uh, like i mentioned in my previous answer I think people mature at different times and different phases of their lives. I think you can express and showcase maturity even at a young age. Mm -hmm. But granted, I honestly do have a lot more life experience, um, a lot more gained wisdom and knowledge through those experiences. Um, I've grown, I've matured, I've discovered and felt more powerful in my own skin than I have in the past. So I think that's something that can definitely benefit anyone when it comes to not only stage presence, but being able to represent a country or an organization conversationally within political powers. I think there's skill sets that, that will definitely benefit me in the competition. And important eh, that you're comfortable with yourself na kasi the self-assurance that you were mentioning earlier. Um, I'm just curious to know, is there any part of the competition that you think uh, experience and maturity would give you more advantage? I think Q&A, if you're able to tap into some of the knowledge or some of the you know, personal values and opinions that you, you, know, you strongly uphold after having experienced so much of it or having, after having to defend it for as long as you have, 
I think in Q&A, um, having the maturity, wisdom, and knowledge will definitely be an advantage. Sabi Sana! Ko, <laughs> sabi ko na nga ba, yan ako, Sana. dyan ako pinaka-excited. The Q&A <laughs> challenge, di ba, mga ka-crown. So talagang aabangan natin yan in this edition. Okay. But, but granted, everything is, I mean, for example, I might be comfortable at the, in the moment speaking conversationally, but dyan sa stage, iba talaga yan. Because mm -hmm. there's pressure, there's lights. Even my last Bini Bini Pilipinas, I didn't remember what I said when I left the stage. Mm -hmm. As in, oh my God, what did I say? Like, I, I was like, I, didn't, I blacked out. Because when you're on stage, no one, everyone underestimates how intense the situation True. is. So even if you think you may be strong in that category, you never know what will happen coronation night. Mm -hmm. But knock on wood, where's the wood that I will do? <laughs> I'll do great. I think a lot of people are just And that's why, even if you know you have this experience, you're still training, I believe. Absolutely. It's an intense training, I heard, mm -hmm. uh, on Q&A. How often do you do the Q&A training? Any opportunity I get. I mean, the schedule's already really intense. I'm still balancing work life, you know, and obviously now I'm UPH, so... Uh, shout out to Mama Elma and Mama Raj for <laughs> being such amazing trainers for me. But um, it's still something that you need to keep yourself on your toes. You need to keep up with current events. You need to stand true to your values. You need to learn how to project them properly. So it's it's multiple facets in one, you know, it's not just one question. There's a lot of elements that take play and a lot of things that you need to remember in order to make sure you're conveying that message properly mm. on stage and to make sure that everyone feels it. like. Heartfelt, yeah. And you mentioned, uh, talking about the uh, experience, you are a DJ, you are a host. I'm a fan of Beach. No, 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 talaga ako po niyan. Inaabangan ko yan. So, which achievement or endeavor or activity that you've had in the last decade you think empowered you the most? Wow. Well, aside from like what you mentioned, um, I love my career as a DJ. I love being able to. Mm -hmm connect with people to create these very special moments, memorable moments that are long life lasting. Um, but aside from that, uh, also like you mentioned, hosting Beach has been such a massive accomplishment for me. It's honestly been, aside from being Miss Universe, a dream job come true. Um, not only because I'm a beach and nature lover at heart, so I not only get to experience these amazing beaches, but I get to promote the Philippines. I get yes. to you know, promote Philippine culture, our islands, the beauty of nature, which is the most beautiful on the planet. And I can't feel any more fulfilled than being able to share that with other people and being proud to be a Filipino because this is our lands, our waters, and it's just, it's a massive passion project for me. I get to promote eco-tourism and sustainability, which I want to create more awareness for in the Philippines. So that platform alone, I'm so grateful for, and um, it's definitely be something that I want to continue even past the Miss Universe journey. At Shampre, you've become a fitness inspiration. Because Shampre, <laughs> diba, you have yeah, a swimsuit <laughs> during beach. Talaga mga inaabangan si Crystalline, not Gary. Genetics <laughs> lang yung girl. No. <laughs> All right. So before we continue, of course, would like uh, at this point would like to uh, mm -hmm. give a big shout out to uh, the Miss Universe Philippines organization for allowing us to do this interview with Christy, mm -hmm. and also to the accredited partners of the gig, uh, Sir Angel Comia and Ma'am. Verma Apostol, thank you so much for, for for allowing us to sit down with Christy today. And of course, would like to thank uh, Tasa Mobile Cafe for uh, sending us some uh, cookies. Mm -hmm. So later, medyo mag, mag chill out lang muna tayo <laughs> for the cookies. Thank you so much, Pa. Now, um, we head on to uh, some questions from our Crown community, Christy. Okay. And uh, they sent uh, a couple of questions. One, the first one is from Jacqueline Santos from Pasig. And her question is, which do you favor more, inclusivity or individuality? Where inclusivity allows no restrictions, while individuality highlights the celebration of the unique qualities of a specific group. I think this is more pageant related, especially no restrictions now for okay. Miss Universe. And there are also those who would want the traditional um, set of requirements parent to highlight naman a certain uh, attribute of a Filipina or a beauty queen. Mm -hmm. uh, which would you prefer? A uh, uh, more inclusive or more celebration for individuality? Okay. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you for the question. Ang haba na tanong mo, Jackie, ha? Pero thank you. <laughs> Actually, I think both 
um, are to be favored. Uh, because when I look at um, inclusivity, I don't necessarily look at it as a no restrictions. Mm -hmm. I like to more say, perceive it as an acceptance of all, which I think is highly important, a way to feature and show that all groups or all demographics are appreciated and recognized, as opposed to saying no restrictions. I think the purpose of inclusivity is to accept all. And I think that's really something that needs to be widened across the globe. So it is highly important. I do favor all of that. On the other side, individuality is also, of course, extremely important because it's highlighting the unique factors of each individual. And that's not to say that they can't still be part of inclusive demographics, but it's showing why they are what makes them who they are, which whether that be you know your physical attributes, your values, your personalities. Um, so both are extremely important. I think both pl also play hand in hand. Mic drop. Jackie, ano masasabi mo, di ba? <laughs> Grab. <laughs> Ngayon pa lang, nananain na ng mic si Christeline Mulgay. There's another question from our Thank Crown you, community. And this one comes all the way from Romblon, from Josephine Bancoro. If you are sent to Mexico as our representative, which aspect of being a Filipino would you highlight abroad? Gusta, Josephine from Romblon. If I decide to go to Mexico, I think one of the things that I would naturally highlight is, of course, Filipino warmth, kindness, and hospitality. Uh, I think Latin culture and Mexican culture as well are extremely similar to us in that way. We're vibrant, we're friendly, and I really want Mexicans or the Mexican culture to also know that we, you know, we're, we're very similar in that aspect. Yeah. We're extremely warm people. We always greet people with kindness, smiles. Uh, we stay wholesome and humble. And I think that's extremely important. I think that naturally shows with any Filipino candidate that goes that gets sent abroad. And aside from that, of course, I really want to highlight and showcase Philippine talent and fashion and culture through um, accessorizing looks, um, whichever way that I can express our Filipino creativity, which we have so much of in this industry in the Philippines. I can't wait to showcase that abroad because it's not just for me; it's for it's for all of us. I think the umpisan mo na yan, yung press presentation, change outfits, de ba? Mga crowd ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Naman talaga si Christy. Okay, so. At this time, uh, Christy, you want to know, siyempre, um, if you get the chance to represent the Philippines in Mexico, pageant enthusiasts are, siyempre, um, looking for a, tawag nilang, Latina Slayer. Mm -hmm. And you're one of the names na lumalabas naman talaga when, it, when we talk about a, Latina, a potential Latina Slayer in Mexico. So my question there is, how competitive is Christy McGarry after a decade? Well, Christy McGarry has actually always been competitive. I'm competitive by nature since I was a young girl. Uh, I grew up very tomboy. I played competitive sports. Um, so it's something that I've always applied to myself, not even just in pageant competitions, but just in daily life. And it's not just with other teammates or individuals. It's more about challenging and you know wanting to always better and improve yourself. So I am still highly competitive. Friendly competition, nothing that you know will, will be detrimental to anyone at, in any way. But um, I'm looking forward to the competition. I like dri the drive and and the comp the competition to to push me forward. And I just hope to make the Philippines proud. I don't want to slay anyone. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> slay the competition. <laughs> but, uh, but I do want to win. Let's just say I do want to win. And I look forward to meeting all the Latina the Latina girls and the powerhouses that the Latinas have always come to make year after year. All eyes on tagig na talaga, no? Do you feel that? <laughs> uh, I feel the pressure. I do a little bit, but um, again, I think with my sense of maturity, I've learned how to handle pressure under grace, hopefully, mm -hmm. in, in certain situations. So now, a follow-up question, doon, because when uh, pageant enthusiasts brand you as a Latina slayer. Merong three beauty queen essentials na hinahanap sila. And that, uh, the first one is uh, relatability, um, especially right now. Um, stage presence or performance skills at yung Q&A skills. Which of those three beauty queen essentials do you have on your toolbox? I have a lot of tools in my toolbox, oh. I think. <laughs> but I think one of my most powerful tools uh, I would have to say it would probably be my my Q and A and my conversational skills. Um, I think coming from my personal background of hosting and um, 
just loving literature and how to read and I think in writing as well, poetry, uh, I think I'm able to apply those on the stage and I think I'll be able to communicate and convey a message and also be able in the long run be a spokesperson for the organization which I think is something that they're looking for. May kailangan pa bang patunayin si Christina Gary <laughs> in terms of ano, di ba? Sa atin, mga <laughs> All right. Um, what is Christie's message to her 24-year-old beauty queen self? Ayan, kasi um, it's always been, you know, people would always look back at your performance, how you handled pressure um, in your international competition, how you've achieved a lot in uh, pageantry. But looking back after 10 years, what's your message to your younger beauty queen self? If I can send a message to myself back when I was 24, I would definitely say, um, do not give up. There's a lot of things coming for you, despite you having lost or placing underneath the crown or that you wanted. There's still countless opportunities for you to achieve. Um, you're beautiful. You're going to grow and mature and blossom into an, an amazing woman that you could never have expected to be. And everything will come in its right time and place. The stars will align for you. Just keep the chin up. and. Keep on trucking. <laughs> um, parang medyo teary-eyed si Christy. It brings back memories uh, ba? Yeah, it's nostalgic. Yeah. Wow. Iba, You're no? You're making me emotional. <laughs> Iba itong... I didn't expect to cry on camera. Iba itong journey kasi aside from... Uh, you gotta cut course, this out. Oh, sorry. But the amount of support that the gig is uh, getting, receiving right now... <laughs> Pinatindi pa ang clamor when Pia endorsed you. Uh, yeah. And then your fans all the way from uh, back in 2015. Was that 2015? Mm -hmm. Yes. Diba? So talagang... <laughs> yes. Nararamdaman na natin. Talaga. This is it for uh, Christy McGarry. Unfortunately, we have a very limited time. At okay. ayaw naman nating masira ang makeup <laughs> ni Christy. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We have a very limited... They made me kind of yung call grab eh. <laughs> I got sentimental. Sorry. <laughs> it's very heartfelt. Christy, we appreciate you opening up to Thank us. You. Um, sharing your experiences, your feelings, your emotions in this journey of uh, yours in Miss Universe Philippines. Because, um, Shepard, during the competition, what we can see is Shepard, all glitz and glam. Yes, their of preparations. But it's yung mental preparation, the emotional aspect uh, that you also invest in a competition. So, Absolutely. So, kung nararamdaman natin to as a pageant fan, what more, di ba? Yung mga girls who are actually in the competition. But, my final question na lang, uh, Christy, it's, it, it's similar to a lot of um, pageant fans' question, but why do you want to win Miss Universe Philippines? I want to win Miss Universe Philippines because I feel like it's a purpose. I feel this driving burn um, inside my my boost of my heart, my soul. That's telling me that I have a, a greater good to achieve and to help promote and you know promote the Philippine people in the Philippines. I, I feel so passionately about it. I'm so proud to be Filipina. And I just want to showcase who we are to the world and put us on that global platform to as as past queens have done before us and just to represent us to the fullest i feel that driving force and that's all i want to do i just want to make you guys proud ngayon pa lang ang lakas ng laban ng pilipinas sa mexico ha diba ngayon pa lang nararamdaman natin yan as we are speaking with you christy again would like to thank you for spending time and sitting down with us i know you have a very hectic schedule medyo ano pa nag run pa ang ating makeup sorry okay okay but uh, before we let you go we're going to uh, bring the spotlight to you so you can give out some thanks or probably you can uh, promote your social media accounts and invite everyone uh, to join you in uh, your Miss Universe Philippines journey. Okay, personally, I would love to thank you guys from The Crown for providing me this interview today. Maraming salamat. So you guys have been so sweet. Um, and of course, I want to thank uh, the city of Taguig and you know, my APs, Angel, Verma, 
And, you know, and I, of course, would love to thank Senator Allen and Mayor Lani Cayetano for all the support throughout this journey. I only hope to make the city th up the gig proud. I, of course, want to thank my team that I've been building up and my family and my friends of supporters who have just been the utmost during the journey that's just about to begin. And not to among the fans and support that for just being part of this and for uplifting me throughout this because it's not going to be easy at all. And who else? Where can they follow? Oh, so please follow along on my Instagram. It's at christy.mcgarry. You can also please follow along on the gigs, M-U-P-H underscore the gig city Instagram and Facebook. And of course, on Miss Universe Philippines um, to follow the organization as well. And I would love to thank the organization for um, making such a beautiful pageant this year uh, with a strong batch of girls to compete. Yeah.